Antarctica, the coldest, driest continent on Earth. It's probably the closest thing to being on another planet on this planet. And it's, it's nature at, at its extreme. Few on this planet have been to Antarctica to experience the extremes, but those who do are noticing some profound changes. These ice shelves are disintegrating, we think, because they receive an excess amount of melting during the summer. And then on over to the Antarctic Peninsula, where the ice shelves are disintegrating. NASA glaciologist Bob Binshadler has taken measurements of the ice and has gathered compelling data using remote sensing radar and satellite information. And so what we see in the, in the Pine Island Glacier and, and Thwaites Glacier areas are signatures very similar to what we'd expect a collapse to look like. Over the past 20,000 years, the West Antarctic ice sheet has lost two-thirds of its mass. It's part of Earth's natural cycle. But that's not to say that everything that's going on there is independent of human activity. And if you attribute human activity to some of this recent climatic warming, warming of the oceans, certainly that's going to be nibbling away at the, at the edges of Antarctica. You can't put heat next to ice and not have it respond. Less polar ice can have spiraling implications. Ice acts as a solar reflector. The less reflection, the warmer the sea temperatures, which in turn can lead to the melting of even more ice. Surface temperatures have risen in the Antarctica Peninsula more than any place on Earth, almost five degrees Fahrenheit in just 50 years. Some scientists are worried about a total collapse of the West Antarctic ice shelf that could drastically raise sea levels around the world. If the rate increases, which would be the worst case scenario, I'd say, our port cities would all be affected. Our beaches would all be affected. It would be a, a, a global event that would demand our attention.